Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'm gonna share my completed journals or completed notebooks for the month of July 2020. So first off, um, I follow Heart Breathings here on YouTube. She is Sarah Cannon and she created a challenge, the HB Notebook Challenge. So I have been, um, participating in this challenge since January of 2020 and each month I film a video sharing the notebooks or journals or planners that I completed during the month. Um, my goal was to at least complete 12, um, at least one a month. Um, so I usually complete multiple books. Um, I think since March, January and February I didn't complete any. But I think since March, I would complete um, maybe more than two. I don't remember. But today, I am going to share three videos. But before I even share that, I'm sorry. Please don't be mad at me. Um, I just wanted to thank my two, <laughs> my two patrons on Patreon. I do have a Patreon. I am Emmy's Everything over there on Patreon. And I just wanted to thank my two <laughs> uh, patrons um, I really really appreciate it I love you guys and you guys just make me so happy um, seeing you over there too so if you guys want to support me on patreon you can head over there as well all right three books this month three books for July of 2020 and they are right here so um, I already filmed a flip through of this first book that I purchased from I'm a Cool Mom because I completed this book in the beginning of July. Like, did I write the date? Yeah. I completed it on July 10th of 2020. I started it on June 15th, 2020. So I already did a flip through on my channel. Um, like I said, I purchased this from I'm a Cool Mom. It is like a vintage-ish uh, style traveler's notebook size book. And I had so much fun with it, completed it, and was just so happy to complete it. So that is the first book. And then I did complete two of my prompt books from Erin Condren. These are the Petite Planner petite journal size um, notebooks that they where is it where is my <laughs> I'm trying to find that is my squeaky chair if you guys ever hear the squeak it's my chair so I house them in this Erin Condren on the go folio but I took it out because I was all done with them so um, the first one I completed was the Share the Love journal. So this journal, I'm not going to do a flip through, but I did uh, complete all of the 50 prompts. And this is a book uh, dedicated to my husband. Sometimes I would draw, doodle, create pages, but um, I did complete, or sometimes I would put quotes like... Um, like this. I just wrote good morning love right here. I just watercolored that. Um, so completed this book. So when it comes to prompt books, I, I don't think I really care for prompt books. Um, sometimes when I want to do like a 30 day prompt or a 30 day list, that's cool. But um, these ones, I don't know. I, I don't know. So anyway, I'm glad to be done with it. I, it took me uh, maybe, when did I start? I don't even know when I started this because I didn't, maybe April? Yeah, I think my first entry was in April. But I didn't go in like um, chronological order. I kind of just like flip-flopped and stuff. So I finished that and then just yesterday, maybe yesterday or the day before, I finished the I Am Enough book. Also the same type of journal 
This is the Erin Condren collab with the Kindness Campaign. And, um, oh, I have a paper in here. I could probably move it. I don't know if I have a paper. No. So, yeah, I could take this out. So I did complete all of this. And it's very personal because a lot of the questions were like of like self-reflection um trying to find a page like this one just said identify yourself so i just like wrote my name but um yeah so most of it is like self-reflection and then when there's something here something like this where i didn't really want to answer the prompt i just wrote a um quote so that says, you are never too old to set another goal or to dream a new dream. But I completed this book. I'm just like trying to share that I did complete the book, but I'm not trying to share all of my <laughs> business out there because this one was uh, pretty personal. But um, completed the I'm Enough book. I don't think I'm going to get another type of book like this. I think I do have one, one more notebook that's sort of a prompt book. But anyway, that is <laughs> what's going on with July. So these are um, July's completed notebooks and journals. I did three. I'm very happy about that. I thought I was going to complete one more book. My workbook from Erin Condren. Um, I use a monthly deluxe planner and it ended in July or it ends in July. I'm filming this uh, video a couple days before July is over. But um, the monthly deluxe ends in July. But I was going through it and I still have like maybe... I don't know, maybe 10 pages, 10 blank pages uh, towards the back of the book. So I know I'm not going to finish that um, in just these couple days. So I'm going to bring it to August and I'm sure I will finish up the book in August. But anyway, um, those are the three books that I completed uh, for this HB Notebook Challenge for July 2020. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.